Public up to phone 16 here. I'm going to just show you something quickly. This is just a uh, middle of uh, building a uh, F-18 wing uh, replica. Um, not to uh, scale or, uh, well, it could be to scale. It's not to the exact dimensions, but the structure of this wing will have the exact uh, types of ways it's built, such as more spars than ribs, So, and it will have working flaps and a leading edge flap as well. So, This is just an idea for remote control flight. Uh, also, this goes along with my F-104 nozzle, which worked out. Um, so this is what I've got so far. I, sorry about the pen. This is just a drawing of the wing. Each red line here is, represents a spar. This is represents the slat. This is not the wing. This is the drawing that I'm using. Here's the main flap. This is the aileron. I should call this elevon, but not really. The F-16 has a, um, elevons um, right now. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. It has elephants. Those are in the back, though. I can't remember this. Sorry, I'm just talking out of proportion here, but I have only three ribs on this design right there. Right there. There is six separate spars, and uh, I uh, took part of an example of a wing right now, but this is what I've got so far. Here's six folded pieces of paper that will be spars in about a few. The sizes on this end are smaller than that end. And uh, it pretty much makes a square shaped spar. This one I'm still um, kind of taping together here. It's probably going to put together with a transparent tape and uh, slight hot glue as before like I said on my nozzle video because hot glue can warp this but this is cardstock so hopefully it won't do as bad of a job on this but hopefully this goes well and uh, let's see what it looks like when I'm done hello YouTube uh, this is the uh, catch up um, you just saw me with all these in pieces and not really showing anything this is the wing as of right now you can see that I have this rib here and you can see on my hand it says trim spars because I need to remember to trim them to this length so that they didn't stick out but I decided to do a different idea but it worked out I'm still trying to figure out the leading edge slat problem here because on my flap idea there's a part that penetrates into the fuselage and I need room for it to operate and there's not too much room here for it to do what I need it to do but up here is the same I might add another like sheet here to try and add a little more room along the leading edge again but I don't know um, I'll figure it out as I go I do not want this to be a waste of my time but here's the undersurface I finally put on I have it hot glued in along here along here on the leading edge not the I mean on the trailing edge but not the leading edge yet because I want to make sure I can get enough room for my leading edge slats to or flap to uh, operate smoothly here is uh, the inboard flap um, the thing about this is the uh, hinges on the bottom it's made out of tape um, pivots here and you can see that cambered what I was talking about right there stays at the same height of the uh, top of the uh, wing so when the next surface goes on it will not rub against and it will make a nice smooth transition to the flap and the aileron is going to be the same um, the aileron will go about to here the slats will go about to here all the way down I still am worrying about the slats but I, I hope I can figure it out if, if anything goes wrong I'll probably just cut into here get rid of the forward part of this first first uh, spar but as you can see I got all spars laid out and it really does show you the strength of this wing that the F-18 does have the uh, McDonnell Douglas F-18 but this is so far where I'm at so hopefully we can see me further on soon enough thank you helicopter pod 16 here again I'm just gonna show you and took off the 
trailing edge flap because I wanted to mess around with my uh, um, leading edge slat, uh, um, flap. Uh, this isn't a slat, it's a flap. All uh, Most fighter jets have flaps instead of slats as the leading edge lift device. As you can see, it moves pretty smoothly. I still have a few problems with it, but hopefully it'll get together like I want it to. Um, there will be another section of wing here stationary, but won't be moving, so it'll just like close off that, so it's a perfect wing tip. Then uh, the flaps, I still have a full flap here, and an ALR on here, and then that notch there, that should go there, so I have a bit further to go on this, so this is how far I am now. This is the next day, and as you can see, it's the same design of flap, the back and front. They're both the same. It just moves for perfectly, and I found that I did not have any problem fitting it into that little area there, so the uh, cambered part into that area there, so I didn't have any problem. Sorry, that's my sister, but all right, that's how far I am now, and yeah, stay tuned for more. And here we are with the finished product, sort of. I still have to put on another edge on the um, tip here, just to cover it up, but as you can see, there's the tip has a part that's stationary, and then you got the uh, like down aileron and then the inboard flap. And by down aileron, I mean that the aileron only goes down and then levels. It does not go negative degrees at all. So um, here's the full wing. As you can see, I don't know if I could hold this in front of a light. And yeah, you can actually see it. If you can see, I'm holding this up to a light. You can see all s separate spars. Then they all meet in the tip of the whole aircraft. You can just see that. That's kind of cool. It's like, yeah, that's different. But yeah, there's six separate cardstock spars in this. There's uh, enough room for this cambered part of the uh, each flap that goes along here. The flap hinges are the same. The flap hinges are made out of transparent tape it goes along along the bottom surface bottom surface all the way along then like I said this is stationary but yeah I'm gonna cover that all up with a like straight piece that goes like this as you can see from the normal planes wing but here's the root you can see you can see it's the leading edge flap is hollow and that goes with both trailing its flaps. And uh, I'm going to set the camera down here for a second so I can try to untape these flaps so you can see them down. Um, the reason I built this wing was to demonstrate that, uh, not demonstrate, but try to design a wing that could be used on a styrofoam plane F-18, such as the um, F-18 that Nitro plane cells, which would be a very cool thing to do by uh, taking these wings and putting them on, but these are probably not to the right scale for the model, but I mean for the uh, remote control. But as you can see, here's the leading edge flap down. Now, this is different be between a flap and a slat because a f slat is like a section of the wing that comes out and then goes down to help the air uh, stay attached to the wing and to allow it to and it slows down the aircraft stall speed but I had to break this into two pieces because it's bigger than the actual piece of paper so I had to split it in half there and then just join it in the middle um, this is the flap as you can see both move perfectly um, can't move the aileron right now but Yeah, that was just my sister, but this is what the wing will look like. Um, this is, I, I don't know how to put it in a scale or anything, but this, yeah, it's pretty big. Um, as you can see, this is about as long as a normal piece of paper would be. 
minus, uh, what is it, um, like seven tenths of an inch. This is seven tenths of an inch shorter than the uh, than an actual piece of paper. I was trying to get the proportions right because this is actually, I think, eight and a half, and then this is ten and three tenths, ten and three tenths, so ten point three zero inches. Um. So the reason, like I said, I wanted to build this was to prove that I could actually make it with the actual structure on the inside, like the actual real jet, and with leading edge slats like the real hinge. And as you can see, uh, it actually stays pretty much well connected to the uh, to the uh, upper surface. And when I blow across it with both flaps down, the air actually does stay connected to go down here. But that's pretty much it. So. Just so you would know, um, this took about two days, and it was well worth it. I'm glad I finished this. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions about this, please let me know.